Have you ever taken the time to realize that we will never be finished? It's part of the human condition that we will never arrive. We will, like we are flawed. We are unfinished and that we always will be. That's a really hard lesson to learn. There's a reason we don't ask that question because we all want the hero's journey, as Jung would say. We all want to go out into the wild, slay the dragon, come back and be the hero, ta-da, happily ever after, with the gold, with the wife, with the, like, whatever else. Um, or for our modern day, like, you know, your white picket fence, your house, your dog, your two and a half kids, like, whatever else, ta-da, I arrived, I'm happy. It's like, we don't get it. And we know this, but we just don't take the time to realize it. I did not take the time to realize this. Um, so for this, I'm going to use John Verveke's relevance realization. That is his theory on what consciousness is, what this brain and everything that we don't, that we haven't mapped out yet that the brain does, which is most of what the brain does. <laughs> um, but so what it is to be conscious is basically, according to his theory, what you find relevant in the room. As in, so you walk into a new room and you are going to find something relevant. The colors, the sounds, the people in it, whatever else. You're going to find their facial expressions, their body language, their body language to each other. You're going to find the writing on the wall. You're going to find the setup of like what sort of person uh, decorated this room. What was the purpose? Like what sort of setting does this room set for this situation? Whatever it is, all of these things are relevant but we'll all realize them or not um, in a different sequence, with a different priority, with a different weight onto each. And that's kind of what it is to be conscious. That's what it is to just make an evaluation, just kind of look at something. And we never stop doing that. We're always learning. We never just kind of like, there's the frame, that's the room, and we'll just like, you know, this person is that type, this person is that type, they seem to have this sort of body language together, and if any new or if any new information comes up, we just ignore it. Like, we don't do that. We're constantly reevaluating. We're constantly framing, and then breaking and framing again, breaking and framing again. The best way I can phrase that is uh, learning a new skill. So take um, punching, for example. Like, I did martial arts, and it's like, okay, learning how to punch uh, is really quite basic you think you know you just extend your arm you hit something you punch something great you learned it okay now you break it and he's like okay when I put my shoulder into it I go a little bit further a bit more power okay now I know how to punch break okay now when I rotate my hip into it I get a full body into it okay now I know how to punch okay break when I keep my elbow in uh, the other person doesn't see it it's like, now I know how and then when I twist now I know how it's just like no 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 stop there's no now I know how there isn't. What you can do is put it on autopilot. You could say, I've gotten up to a certain standard that I'm happy with, and I'll just run it on autopilot. I can tie my laces without thinking about it, and the job's good enough. It's not perfect, but it's good enough that I don't, like, I will spend my time thinking about something more important than tying my laces. Say, like, and I don't mean to, like, diss on autopilot here. We've all done autopilot. We've driven somewhere and just been like, how did we get here? Like we forget half the journey because we are thinking about stuff. And autopilot is like, if your thoughts consume you so much that this body runs on autopilot most of the time, that's not where we want to be. We want to integrate those. So, but short of that, autopilot's not a bad thing. You're, you're freeing up your brain space so you can think about other stuff. So you can so you can uh, plan, so you can project, so you can imagine, so you can be creative, like whatever it is. It's not altogether bad. I don't mean to, to make it sound like it is. But if you are paying attention to something, like that, I wasn't paying attention to that. Excuse me. If you are paying attention to something, you are refining your understanding of it just by definition of paying attention to it. You are realizing something new. You are framing and then reframing and going again. And every time you're going to be saying like, you know, now I know. And with hindsight, every time you're going to be like, yeah, I didn't really know back then. And just, we never realize the two are, that we're experiencing, that that is this moment. 
we think we know, but we don't. It is it is forever and always that I will be asking for forgiveness for the things I do not know. And I'll just, and I'll look back in hindsight and just be like, man, how could I not? But I'll all, like, that is what life is. It is always being unfinished. It's always being flawed. And I know that this sounds like such a downer. It sounds like such a harsh, <laughs> harsh lesson. But I really ask you to offer this to yourself. Um, because you can't offer it to other people. That grace, that forgiveness of humanity, that forgiveness of flaws, of being unfinished, of that story still going, of the person still growing, of the room and the space to do that, to be human, to be unfinished. If we don't offer it to ourselves, it's very hard to offer it to other people because it just won't be how we see the world. So I hope I, I hope I can pass that through this camera I'm looking at at the moment, through your screen that you're looking at, and hopefully it hits you. Hopefully you realize that we will forever and always be unfinished. And that made me cry. And then I realized how beautiful that was, that everything is growing and everything's alive and everything is... It's a beautiful moment. So hopefully... You can get that too. Um, and hopefully it won't be as big a realization for you as it was for me. So if you got something from this video, I would ask you to subscribe and hit the like button. If you don't mind, I'm gonna push that for a little while. Um, but yeah, hit that subscribe button. If you don't mind, I'm gonna try and, try and push that up if I can for a little bit. So uh, hopefully, fuck it. Have a great week. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.